I look like a pumpkin. I look like an actual pumpkin. But it's cute though. Well, hello there beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. In today's video, I'm doing a bow and tea. Is that how you say it? A bow and tea haul. I feel like they used to be linked with Opoly. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't followed the brand for long. I literally just saw someone post one of their outfits the other day on Instagram. And I was like, oh, that's a really nice outfit. And then for the last four weeks since seeing that post, I've been going on their website almost daily to just just wanting to buy the stuff and to try it. The other day I was like, you know what, I'm wasting so much time coming back to this website every day thinking their pieces look really nice. I may as well find out, right? You just, you gotta live your life and you gotta try stuff and find out. If, if it doesn't work out, that'd be a massive shame because I actually ended up buying 450, <laughs> if not more, I spent more than 400 pounds on these clothes. But my logic was, if I'm gonna try it, you know, if I'm gonna take a bite, take a big one, yeah, right? And if I film this video, then I'm providing a service to everyone who has ever wondered whether bow and tea is worth the order. We're about to find out. This video is not sponsored, sadly, I wish it was. I would much rather have got that stuff for free and just sit here and be like, yeah, decent. <laughs> Just kidding, I would never not give my true opinion. I kind of try and make this as painless and quick as possible. I hate, oh, I hate trying stuff on. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna make this painless? I feel so bloated as well. Whatever, well, oh. <laughs> Here is the box of stuff. I will start by reviewing my shopping experience on their website. I low-key loved and hated it. What I loved about it is that when you click on one item, automatically all the other items in the set that are similar that would go with that item come up below. Amazing. However, when you're buying a lot of stuff, the way that it lists your items is with like the fancy name of the item. So it'll be like energize or active and then it'll show a picture, but it'll show a picture of someone in a whole outfit. And so it's like, I don't know if I put the crop top or the shorts in the basket. All I know of that is that I have one small energize, which to me is, is you know, it's edgy, it's cool, but it's actually really unpractical. And I found that really frustrating. I was having to constantly click on items I put in my basket to remind myself of what I'd got because the pictures and the name of the item just wasn't clear. Which is, you know, if you're only buying one or two things and you remember and keep track better than me, then that's not a problem. But it did arrive super fast. I'm pretty sure I ordered this stuff like two or three days ago. Maybe two days ago, it arrived faster than I expected. And look how neatly packaged that is. So I've just got like boxes in boxes. There's a box on the top. I'm so good at this. And then two boxes inside. Smooth. Um, and it's just all really neatly packaged. So I open it up and I've got this, this inside like that. It smells fresh and new, big fan of that. I like those boxes. Um, yeah, it's just packaged really well. And to be fair, it is like on the slightly pricier side. I'll put all the prices in as we go along and we will try on everything. So the first item I have is these cuff joggers. Oh my gosh, that feels nice and cozy. And I love this color. This is like my favorite color. I feel like it's just the best color. Orange rust, orange sunset is my favorite color. Anyway, I'm gonna try on this set and stop chatting nonsense. Oh, I really like that. They've packaged the one outfit in the one box. That is so cute. Bow and tea, I'm enjoying this so far. So they put the joggers and the, the top that matches the joggers in the same thing. Oh, this is cute. Okay, I'll put them on and I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. I think... I think this is a classic case of it looks better on the model. I look like a pumpkin. I look like an actual pumpkin. So I didn't go, I didn't get it in petite because even though I'm five foot three and a half, um, I've been told on numerous occasions that I have really weird occasions. People randomly say this fact of how long my legs were relative to the rest of my body. But I didn't go for petite because I figured you never know, normal length might fit me. And the joggers are really soft and cute and comfortable, they're very nice. I don't love this look personally, this is not for me. This is more like, I don't know, maybe if I was 16, I would love this and it'd be like, oh, cozy, cute vibes. Also, I don't think it flatters my figure, like on the website. 
<laughs> on the website they're just basically perfect beautiful models <laughs> and so they're just built in a different way than I am um, like I feel like some people would wear this out shopping I would not I really wouldn't they are super comfortable though and really stretchy the arms are a bit short I'm not sure why that's reaching like if you're tall and have a long <laughs> We just love these demonstrations. If you're tall and have a longer arm width than me, then I think that's a bit that's a bit tight really. They've they've been stingy on the sleeves. Um and that's even with this already being down there, so yeah. Okay, it looks better when I roll up the sleeves though. This is the material, it's like ribbed. On the inside is a really soft material as well. I have to say the quality does feel good. Okay, next up is this sports bra crop top, which I thought was the same color, but it's looking like it's a slightly different tone. I really like that, I really like the scoop. I think it's very flattering. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the most supportive. Let me just check. I feel a little bit naked just because the skin tone so closely matches my own and I guess when it's skin tight stuff <laughs> I guess that does feel a little naked but I do love the colour. It's got the little bow and tee mark and it's also ribbed. Back. I really like that top. I really like that top. Okay so these are, these are the shorts, the ribbed shorts. Yeah they're okay. I mean there seems to be like a lot of there's a lot of material, like this could literally go all, <laughs> all the way up into a bodysuit. I feel so naked because it's just the same colour as my skin. So there's a lot more material than I personally need. I do feel like these shorts would just ride up very, very quickly. But I mean, it's not too bad. It's kind of cute. I just, I'm not sure that I would feel excessively comfortable, I guess. I did want to test the material because one thing I can't stand is when you get really dark marks when you sweat, which clearly <coughs> this is going to. So if you sweat or get water on it, it would look like you've peed yourself. Someone who does some pretty intense workouts, I tend to get sweat patches all down here and also across my crotch. So it looks like I've wet myself, which I don't massively mind, but I just prefer not to. But you're only going to get that with... Um, different very different material and also like wearing black so I think that's just a struggle I'd have to accept if I was wearing this this is the beige set and um, I got the crop top with the scoop neck which I really like I mean I feel like I should probably wear a sports bra under it but I think it's really nice I got it in a small and it does feel like it's struggling a bit I mean I should probably go for a medium um, but I really like this style and then I've also got the cycling shorts as well um, which I definitely prefer to the mini shorts. Please ignore my nails by the way it's locked down so this is <laughs> it's been a while and I'm struggling they've almost like fully grown out but we won't we won't dwell on that. Look from the back And another thing I love about this top and the ones I've tried on so far is that you can actually get them on without getting makeup all over them, which I really appreciate. I do really like these two pieces. Kind of, I don't know, the shorts, I don't know. I do like them as far as shorts go. These are the leggings and I just thought I'd put them back on with this jumper because I figured this would actually look really nice together. Um, they feel, again, still really good material. They've got the print on the front. They are ribbed. I didn't get anything in petite. Um, so this is full length. So it's the, <laughs> the label's just dangling about and making plenty of noise. Really comfortable. Nice and flexible. I can move in them, I can lunge in them. I really like these. Really like them. Okay. Yeah, so that's it with the matching top, which I really like. I feel like I would wear that to the gym and to do a workout, so. I don't know if it's the fact that it is a different color, so um, I feel like the brown was probably just too close to skin color, and for something that's skin tight, you know, I don't think I would be comfortable <laughs> wearing that at the gym, so yeah, maybe this color is the way forward for me. Cool. Oh my goodness, yes. 
yes yes i really love this top i've been looking for one just like this and when i say looking i mean just imagining one just like this basically i love my gymshark sets i'm not gonna lie it took me a while to get on the gymshark hype but i did and i really like them especially the seamless the vital seamless that's all i ever really want to buy and wear but I just didn't like how high neck the top was. It was really annoying. I found it really claustrophobic. I was not a fan. So the fact that this is pretty, really very similar. Um, however, it is scoop neck is just amazing for me. And I do feel like that's relatively <laughs> well supported. Obviously, if you are more blessed in the upper area than I am, then you definitely want to wear some kind of sports bra under this. And you could probably get some of the nice patterns showing through because I always hate that about sports bras they make them so cute and then you're supposed to cover them up and I'm low-key I'm like no no pay 30 quid for this you're gonna see the pattern on the back thank you very much <laughs> um but I really like it here's it close up so it's got a little logo I'm not a fan of name branding so I love when brands put the logo really small um I don't know why I just I've never been a fan of like Blatant, like you know when you get those Hollister trousers with the huge Hollister written on them. I just never really liked that. Probably because I was bitter because I couldn't really afford it growing up. <laughs> but I really like this top, and it's got the little, little uh, thumb holes. Again, I went for the hot pants. I'm not the biggest fan of. I mean, I don't hate them. I just do feel like, you know, if you are curvier in that area. Um, when you wear really short shorts, it just gives a different look than someone who is less curvy in that area. I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like I want my shorts to come down lower because it just feels a bit much. So um, that's just my own personal preference. They are really nice shorts. It's just that that is, that is so close. That's living on the edge, really, isn't it? Um, but I really like this outfit. And like, usually I don't wear bright colours. I've definitely been getting... I definitely got to a phase where I was like, okay, I'm bleached blonde, I don't want to be too colourful, <laughs> and so I haven't been wearing colours, but recently I'm like, do you know what, no, I like it, I want to wear, I want to wear more than just black and grey, and I do really like that, I feel very, very girly right now, very feminine, love this top, oh, I'm so pleased about that, that is all I do, I find like one set that I love, and then I buy... <laughs> I buy the set in multiple colours. I'm not gonna lie, this is not lot, not that fun for me anymore. I just hate like, I wish I could just magic be in the next outfit, but I've not developed that skill set, so I guess I have to go and change. Okay, so these are the leggings. Again, they're really comfortable, really good quality. I think that I'm gonna keep these. They go really well with the top. Um, I do feel a bit too pink. Loving this top, would recommend. In fact, it took me a while to carry on filming because I started taking pictures. <laughs> oh, the vanity. So far, I'm loving it. Oh, I'm really pleased. I was so scared it would be one of those ones where you order and then it comes through and it's just the cheapest tat and you've got this stress of returning it to somewhere in Alaska and it's super expensive and stressful. But I really like this stuff. Again, I'm wearing a size small. Um, I personally, when it comes to fitness clothes, I like to be like, you know, I like it to fit. Um, but I could probably go up to a medium and I imagine it would still fit. But it's not overstretched. So, yeah, I'm five foot three for reference, if that helps. I never really find it helps. I don't know why I say that. Because when I watch videos of trials and they're like, I'm wearing an eight, I, I just, I'm like, that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> but if it helps you, that's... That's your information to know. All right, onto the blue set, nearly there. Okay, so this is the blue set. I'll put in the names of everything below. It's the asymmetric crop top, which <laughs> I think is definitely for fashion rather than practicality. I do think it's quite fashionable. This is it from the back. I think I'm wearing it right. I hope I'm wearing it right, otherwise that'll be quite embarrassing. But I really like that. If you want to see closer up, again, it's good material. I love a snapback. I'm not wearing another sports bra with this. I don't think I would need it. <laughs> but again, do what your body needs. That's just what I can get away with because I'm quite, quite humble. <laughs> um, but yeah, the leggings as well, they're just like the other leggings, just the blue. I like that. I think I would work out in that. Here is the set in, I'm not sure specifically what colour they called it, so I'll let you know. Um, these shorts do feel really quite short. Um, again, I've got a small, so maybe I could go up for a medium. Um, I have folded them down, so they do come up to here. I fold them down to here. 
And here's the set. I really like this set. I personally think it's really flattering for me and for my figure. I think I'm going to keep it. It's so nice. And this is the last item, which is the sports bar in blue. I do really like this shape. I don't think it's the most supportive item ever, <laughs> to be completely honest. But it's cute though. It looks cute. Here is the top the scoop top layered with the sports bra and I think it looks really, really pretty. So I thought I would just show you guys that because um, I think that's probably how I'll be wearing the scoop top. So I'm gonna end the video there. Thanks so much for watching. Overall, I really like these clothes and I'm glad I gave it a try because I wouldn't have known unless I'd bit the bullet. So I hope this helps you make your decision. If you like these kind of designs, then so far, I mean, I've only tried them on, I haven't actually done anything in them or washed them, but the quality does feel good. And I personally think they're flattering. So yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys. I'll see you in my next video. I love you so much, bye.